Hallelujah. Awesome in his deity. Righteous in his holiness. He's a good God. Beside him there is no one. God is good all the time. And all the time. Hallelujah. Come on, give God a hand clap of praise this morning. We want to thank God. Thank these preachers. Deacon, thank the deacon, the deaconess, uh, the musicians, uh, the lay members. We thank God for our sister visiting us, uh, coming home, through it, showing her lovely face. God bless you. Uh, we, we know that God is able on this morning. We want to thank uh, God for allowing our children to get back to Miami. Hallelujah. Uh, we thank God. Uh, Wonderful job. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We're going uh, to go forward here. Uh, we didn't come to hold your patience long. Amen. But we come with a word from God. Amen. Come on, let's go to Jeremiah Amen. 18. Amen. Jeremiah 18. Yes, <coughs> hallelujah. First verse reads as thus. You got to say amen. amen. The word which came to Jeremiah from the Lord, saying, Arise and go down to the potter's house. Say the potter's house. And there I will cause thee to hear my word. Say God's word. God's word. And then I went down to the potter's house and behold he wrought a work on the wheel somebody say the wheel, the wheel. and the vessel that he had of clay was marred in the hand of the potter so he made it again another vessel as seemed good unto the potter to make it Somebody say, make me over again. Make me over again. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Uh, the word uh, of Lord Jeremiah, the prophet. Jeremiah was the type of prophet where when things would come up in his life and God would have to tell him some stuff. It would sometimes make the prophet cry. Right. Make him weep mm -hmm. uh, to the point where Jeremiah told God one time, I'm not going to say another word That's right. because me telling your business to these folk going to cause me uh, a world of trouble. I'm, I'm, I, I done had myself in the direst situations. Mm -hmm telling your word. I, I, I'm not saying nothing else about you, God. But he realized that the word of God is like fire. Shut up in his bones. 18 chapter Jeremiah says that the word of the Lord came to him and told him to get up and go down to the potter's house. And I thought to myself, uh, I said, Lord, uh, how is it could I translate the potter's craft to the saints of God? I know that they're in your hand, God. I know that you say, can not I do the same thing with my children? But how can I get a visual in their minds of what's going on in their everyday life at the potter's house. Uh -huh. God with his glory self said, Corey, what I need for you to do, I need you to understand the craft of the potter. Right. That's right. That's right. Well, before the clay gets upon the wheel, All right. the clay must be sometimes beaten. Uh -huh. That's right. Clay must be sometimes 
slap. Uh -huh. Clay must sometimes be twisted. That's right. And this means that you gotta go through some changes in your life. That's right. You gotta go through some aches. You gotta go through some pain. Sometimes uh, uh, the Lord just uses the enemy to slap you. Uh -huh. Sometimes the Lord just uses the enemy to twist you. Yeah. Sometimes the Lord just uses the enemy to fix you. And what's going on in your life, God is making you better in time. Yeah, that's right, that's right, that's right. Uh, the potter takes his hands and put on the wheel. Takes his hands and put on the clay. Uh -huh. I, 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 and understand here uh, 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 how this this old potter's wheel is because the potter's wheel is spinning around. And 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 when I when I looked at the potter's craft, uh, uh, if he has an electric wheel, he must put pressure upon the pedal. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know about anybody else, but have you ever had the pressure of life put upon your pedal? Make it go round and round, feel like you done got dizzy in your situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here now, the potter is God. And God is putting pressure upon your pedal, causing you to spin. And you to yourself saying, God, I'm so dizzy, I'm so tired of going round and round. Yeah. But if I check in the Bible, the Bible declared that Jesus is a wheel, Lord have mercy, in the middle of a wheel. And I told you that God is the master potter. He puts you upon Jesus. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Allow Jesus to hold you as he goes around and around. Sometimes you feel like you're going to fall up. Sometimes you feel like you're going to give up. Sometimes you feel like you're going to blow up on the wheel. But the, uh, Jesus said, I won't put no more on you than you, you can bear. That's right. God is putting pressure upon the pedal of your life and causing you to go around. But you ought to get glad and tell your neighbor, I'm going around in Jesus. Uh, the children of Israel, they went around and Jesus followed them because wherever they needed water, that rock was there. I teach that on another time. But wherever they, they, they needed something to drink, the rock appeared and they went around. But 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 today, Jesus had come and died on go up the hill. Now, you can go around in Jesus. I don't know about nobody else. You can go around in Jesus and get to one destination to the children of Israel, when they went around, they were just going around in a circle. But when you when you own Jesus, when you go around, though you're here in North Carolina, you'll find yourself in Mississippi. Uh, how is that relevant? Because the Bible declared that one day the disciple was on the sea trying to get to the shore of the destination. And they saw Jesus walking upon the storm and, and one was feared and the other trembled. And Jesus said to him, uh, be a good cheer. And they allowed Jesus in the boat. As soon as Jesus stepped in the boat, the Bible said immediately they were to their destination. That's right. That's right. Why? Because they was in Jesus. And Jesus, he is a transportation. Uh, 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 Jesus is a transporter. Jesus is a, 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 a calling on a uh, uh, Star Trek. You know, he can beam you up. Uh, Lord, have mercy. I don't know about nobody else, but sometimes in life I need to be beamed up. Uh, I need to be helped up. Uh, I need to be pushed up in life. Here, uh, the prophet decides to go down to the potter's house. And uh, when he finds himself down there, he sees the potter uh, putting pressure upon the pedal, yeah. causing the wheel to go around yeah. and around. Yeah. But, but, but uh, I want you to understand 